It is one of the most recognizable trophies in all of sports, Lord Stanley's Cup. Used and abused by players, once forgotten by the side of the road. But fans can't get enough of this thing. This week, the Cup was back in Colorado. Major King went to Loveland to get the story. The Stanley Cup winning Colorado Avalanche. It is perhaps one of the most iconic images in all of sports. This is the shape that is known around the world, I guess. Lord Stanley's Cup. Dating to 1893, road tripped to Colorado this week. Eight-year-old Jaden Aguilera awesome. skipped school to be first in line. I play hockey and I want to win it. From doctors to nurses to a frostbite victim from Estes. I'm here for the frozen cup from my frozen feet. A precious moment with Stanley was a must-have. I found the penguins. There's actually three versions of the cup. This is the real one. This is what everybody thinks is uh, the real one, and it is. We call it the Presentation Cup. This is the one that's presented to the players on the ice after they win. It's the one that travels all around the world. But little Logan Weatherby of Fort Collins doesn't care just yet. He is a hockey fan. His parents are both Avalanche fans, and uh, he's kind of born into being an Avalanche fan. It was all part of ECHL All-Star festivities in Loveland. A chance for some of minor league hockey's best to dream of at least winning their own Kelly Cup on their way to becoming the next Ralph Backstrom, a six-time winner of Lord Stanley. The first time I wanted was in 1958 with the Montreal Canadiens. It was a big thrill for me. It's got a lot of history, a lot of tradition, and uh, you know, I think when we have a, a, an exhibition uh, with, the, with the Stanley Cup, it's, it's a, one of the main attractions by far. Just how popular is the cup? The line to see it stretched from the upper level down to the main concourse for four hours. Today you get to touch it. I know. I'm very excited. I'm going to kiss it. <laughs> Part of the lure is the lore. What Coloradan isn't fiercely proud of this moment in 2001 when Stanley was carried to the top of the highest peak in the Rockies, Mount Elbert. And there's the trivial. In 1996, Avalanche player Adam Deadmarsh's name became the first misspelled name on the cup to be corrected. There is the odd misspelling because each letter is hand stamped uh, and it's on metal. Ah uh, yes, the metal. This version is 97% sterling silver and 3% nickel for strength. I know it is insured though for 1.5 million. I, I'm sure it's almost priceless. <laughs> I wonder where you've been and what you've done. <laughs> it is important to know your cup etiquette. We let people touch it, give it a kiss, a hug if they like. Picking it up is basically reserved for the players. They've earned the right to be able to do that because they've won it. And just how do they get 120 years worth of names on there? Well, they don't. There's five main bands. Those bands are interchangeable. So every 13 years when a band is filled, they'll take the top band off, move everything up a level, put a new blank one on the bottom. This way the cup never gets any bigger, heavier, taller. I'm on there six times. I was told I got seven years left on the trophy, so <laughs> I'm going to enjoy those seven years. I don't think I touched the Stanley Cup more than once or twice. So. It's right behind you there, Ralph. Well, I might go over and <laughs> caress it a little bit. <laughs> Respectfully with the Stanley Cup in Loveland, Major King, Seven Sports. Very nice, Major. Well done, my friend.